All these rejections from the middle Bollinger Band. resistance, we're going to need to see here. We get a will look for a healthy tire. I would not don't have the full map to end the long trade. Hey everyone, quick video update today. We're going to look at Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, and BCH again later tonight with Alex from Nuggets News. We're going to put out another video where we do, he does a little bit of the fundamentals. I go over the charts in the BTC pairings, and we're going to do that with 10 different coins. We did a video previously with 10 other coins, and that'll be out at some point late night tonight on the East Coast as he is Australian time. Let's give away a free course. Song lyric. This is not going to be an easy one, but... Skinny dipping in a sea of blank. First person to get it. Free course. So, Bitcoin on the daily time frame. Inside bar. And we could see that it was a very likely setup to have an inside bar today. So I wasn't expecting a whole lot to go on. And that's because we had a four-hour bounce last night. We hit that exponential resistance in the previous, maybe even yesterday or previous day recently. I said that bears are looking at the four-hour exponential resistance for a potential entry, waiting for the four-hour RSI to cool, them, cool it off. And that's exactly what happened. So a bearish rejection. We pulled back. The bulls formed a higher low. Now we're heading back up towards that exponential resistance. And it's just an equilibrium with our low, high, higher low. And we're looking for a lower high to be set compared to 7708. And our support is down at 7462 at this point. So if we see a bear break, the RSI has cooled off enough that I'm not going to be interested in entering a position for quite some time. I'm going to have to see, again, I'm most comfortable with my oversold bounces when the four-hour RSI is in the mid-20s, the hourly RSI is in the mid-20s, and the 15-minute RSI is in the mid-20s. When all three of those time frames line up, that's when I am my best in terms of having the most profit on those oversold bounces. So at this point, because the hourly or the four-hour RSI is cooling off and the hourly RSI is nowhere near oversold, if we do drop down and break support of 74.37, I'm not going to be rushing to buy. I'll probably wait, and it's probably going to take the price down to 7,200 before we get the RSI conditions that I would want. So I'm still in a small position at this point, and it's still profitable as my average was, again, under 7,500 on that trade I went over yesterday. But we're just patiently waiting. There's not a whole lot to be doing right now. Bears can either be looking for an entry on the lower high and then set a stop above that level and patiently wait or the most patient traders are going to be waiting for this four-hour equilibrium to form and break and we're going to look for the daily inside bar to break tomorrow as well so that's where we stand overall nice and patient this daily chart has now seen five red days in a row so we're looking for the bulls to see a bull move and a lower high to be set on this daily chart so keep that in mind that even if we do break this four-hour equilibrium bullish a lower high is the likely scenario of that and i would be looking just visually in the 7,900 range, 79 to 8,000 for that potential daily lower high. But first things first, patiently waiting on that four hour equilibrium. Comparing these altcoins to it, ETH daily time frame, still extremely weak, no sign of a bounce. And again, the loss of this equilibrium pattern, the loss of the daily higher lows, just a gift for the bears. At this point, we've dumped well over 10% and we're right down at our lows. And if we look at the four hour time frame, the low was 407.78. And we did break that level just barely. We can consider that a double bottom at this point. But just if we're comparing it to Bitcoin, Bitcoin did not break its support level while ETH did. If we bounce here, anything under 424.61 is a lower high. So still a very clear lower high pattern. And we're looking to remain in this lower high pattern unless we see Bitcoin break bullish from its four hour equilibrium. So in terms of RSI levels for ETH, again, as I've been pointing out in videos, BTC is almost more important in terms of RSI than ETH is because ETH can drop down to 20 on this four hour, which it's done almost three times in the past couple of days. And again, it's because Bitcoin is not that extended where the correlation that is so, so favoring the bears at this point for Ethereum, it allows these RSI levels to get extreme because Bitcoin can pull back and drag that correlation down further because Bitcoin is not too oversold at that point. So if we do see a bear break from the equilibrium on Bitcoin, we're going to head down to 400 psychological support on Ethereum and a break of that level should trigger some stop losses. If we get a bull break, we're going to watch this resistance 
of 424.61 and it's going to be up to the bulls to break that level in order to try and shift this momentum have to change the trend on the hourly or four hour time frame to be looking for a daily higher low to be set of course at this point we're not looking for a daily higher low it would just be a daily low and a bounce same thing just looking for a lower high on this daily chart with a bounce if we get any kind of follow through i would say just visually we'll have the exponential resistances as our guide so the bull move last night, we zoom out to the four hour, we look at exponential resistance. If we get a bull move over those exponential resistances in the next two days, we zoom out to the daily and we look at the daily exponential resistances. LTC on the four hour time frame also had a bear break. So again, comparing it to Bitcoin, dropping down to a lower low, although the bull's holding on and it's a lower high pattern. Anything under 78.39 is just a lower high. We topped out at 77.31 on this little bounce attempt here. And overall, it's just keeping the bears in control with a clear downtrend on the four hour time frame. And the bears are very comfortable in this situation. If they have no reason to cover, if the longer term trends are not changing in any way, they're just comfortably sitting in their positions and the bulls aren't doing a whole lot to put any pressure on them and force them to cover, which adds to the buying pressure. So at this point, we're oversold on the four hour again here as well. Same story as Bitcoin can see further downside with its RSI levels where they stand. And that could drag LTC to more extreme RSI levels as well. BCH on the four hour time frame. Daily chart still holding up much better than everybody else, but a clear bear break. The most bearish break out of all four of them. That doesn't change the daily chart. The daily chart is still the second most bullish compared to Bitcoin because we do still have some clear supports and we haven't pulled back as significantly as ETH and LTC. But if we're looking at the four hour time frame, it's the most bearish because we drop down to a lower low very clearly on increasing bear volume. On any bounce attempt, anything under 773.58 is a lower high. So when you're talking about, you know, who's stronger, who's weaker, it changes from time frame to time frame. So right now, the four hour time frame, everything that I just said, I'm not going to repeat it, but, you know, BCH is the weakest on the four hour, but it is not the weakest on the daily. So always, you know, specify what you're talking about in terms of time frame, especially with patterns. You know, when people are asking about patterns, specify what time frame you're looking at that pattern on so people can just pull it up real quick rather than trying to search and find the, the same thing that you're looking at. So that's where we stand. It's really a, a nice quick update. Not a whole lot to be going off of. At this point, I probably will exit my position at a small loss. And because it's a small, lo a small position and a small loss, it would be a tiny loss. If we break to a lower low, I will probably exit just because, well, it all depends on the hourly R or the, the RSI levels on the four hour and the hourly. So it's tough for me to say right now. Uh, right now, I do not have a stop in place because I've been at the computer all day. If I leave the computer, I probably will place a stop loss in there. But again, when, you, when I have such a small position where the fluctuations aren't making significant differences in my balance, I'm a lot more lenient on where I place my levels. And that's a reason I didn't take profit last night could have easily locked in some profit, but I'm staying cautious and protective. Like I said, it's been a great June, uh, a great July, I should say. Significant upside, lots of solid profit, and I'm not going to give any of that back. So well, while we're in consolidation on the daily, I'm going to be very protective playing anything that I play bullish with a very tight leash and you know not going all in on anything. Last time I entered an all-in position was uh, the significant bull breaks. Back in April, I did it, and... Did it one time here back in July as well. So that's where we stand. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. And from there, we'll look for you to continue to do good things. We'll do that video tonight. Keep an eye out for that video to be posted. I probably won't get to posting it until tomorrow morning on the East Coast. But if you subscribe to Nuggets News Channel, he'll, play, he'll post that at some point tonight. Probably maybe six hours from now or so. And other than that, we'll see how this daily inside bar breaks. Hope you all continue to have wonderful times. If you're not having wonderful times, hope you start to have wonderful times. Don't really have a lesson for today, but we got some goats eating bananas, and I will just segue right to that.